Jack and Dan. Today we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to show you how your heart works a little bit better. So Jack's got two dumbbells. What kind of dumbbells you got? Ten and a three. Right, you got ten pound on your right hand, three pound on your left hand, right? Mm -hmm. Now do some curls with those two dumbbells so you can get big biceps, right? Now what's going to happen if you do curls with those every day? Which one of your arms will get bigger and stronger? This one. Yeah, why? Because your muscle will be getting used to this because it's hard for it. But this is small, so your muscle is not going to do anything. Right, so more resistance. It'll intensify. More the intensity, yep. right? is going to make your biceps stronger and if you get stronger it's going to get bigger to adjust yeah. because that's how muscle fibers work they get bigger and this will seem easier now if i was on a treadmill and i was walking that'd be kind of like curling this three pound dumbbell right mm -hmm. but let's say i go faster or maybe just even if i don't want to go faster maybe i can't go that fast Extend maybe the incline. turn the incline up right would that be like curling a 10 pound weight for your heart then yes maybe even more we're going to try a little experiment and we're going to see what happens ready yep we got our treadmills at about three and a half miles per hour. And we got, we're holding our little hand thing, so I can't hold a boat while I'm doing it, so I'm gonna have to edit that part in. But So we're talking about target heart rate, we're talking about how important it is. So Jack's pulse right here is 134, walking at three and a half miles an hour on a treadmill. Mine was about 92. I'll, like I said, I'll have to retake that and edit it in. So the reason that we're showing this is, is we want people to understand that it's important to get that target heart rate, get that heart rate up. So, we're gonna do a little experiment because a lot of people tell us, they say, hey Dan, Jack and Dan, I can't run like you guys do, right? So we're gonna kinda show them that if you just mess around that incline a little bit, so we're gonna take that incline button, buddy, hit that incline button and put it up to about two. No, keep walking. Hey, right, just hit that incline button right there, over there, put it up to about two. There you go. Now we're going to wait a couple minutes and we're going to see what Jack's heart rate does. So my heart rate's about 95, 93 to 95, walking at three and a half miles an hour. So again, my heart rate's going to be a little bit lower because I'm older and I've been working out a lot longer than Jack, but Jack's been working out a lot more too now. So we're going to go up to two on mine as well. And we're going to see what happens in a couple minutes. Jack's has gone up quite a bit. His has gone up into 140s. So his went up about 10, 15 points. Okay, so as you can see, mine's only up to about 99, 98, 99. So the problem with that is, is that I train very high intensity. So raising it like two, in, two degrees incline is gonna make much of a difference. So we're gonna jack it up even more. We're gonna turn up to four. All right, Jack's turned his up. We'll see what happens in a couple minutes. About 141, you were up to 150 for a while, kind of up and down. Yeah. And uh, we're going to see what Dad said. Again, I'm only going up by about five per two degrees of incline. We got a lot more to go. So let's turn it up. I'm going to go up to six now. All right, guys, so at an incline of six now, starting to feel, feel it a little bit. Getting to 112, so it's going up a little more. We're going to try to up it even more. We're going to go up to eight. And we'll increase jacks up to eight here. Wait about another minute or two. We'll see what happens. Oh, 120. We're getting up there now. So here's what we're going to do. Get a few minutes on that. We're going to increase it again. We're going to go to 10. And turn our jacks up to 10. Let's see if we can get a little closer to our target heart rates. 171, very good. See what a lifetime of high intensity exercise can do for your heart and blood pressure. I'm walking at 10% incline, still not even close to my target heart rate at almost 47 years old. So I, got, I just hit 130. What we're going to do is we're going to turn these guys up even more. So, we're going to turn it up. We're going to go to 12. See what happens. Again, we're going at three and a half miles an hour. Not a super fast pace, right? But we're just trying to show people the effect that incline has, even though it's not that high of an impact, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're almost at 140. Still not at my target heart rate yet, but oh, there's 140. Got my another 10 or 20 to go to really get a good workout. But we're gonna try. We're gonna turn it up till 14 and see what happens. 
80 to 79. 85% of his target heart rate now, 180, how's it feel? Sweaty. It's not as hard as our jump run, is it? No. No, but it's pretty hard. All right, let's see what Dad does. Okay, guys, we're stepping into this. We're stepping hard. Still only got about 141 at 14. Guess what, guys? These go up to 15. We're gonna try one more degree, see what happens. We're gonna go a few more minutes and see how Dad's is. Okay, guys, I'm finally almost at 150. About 80 to 85 percent of my target heart rate. So, just wanted to show you how intense the incline can make a difference even though we're not going that much faster. Okay guys, I want to do a quick kind of a little myth buster here. You see a lot of people that are walking an incline. Look at my hands. What I did here is, is I'm leaning back. My aim, instead of doing like me and Jack, we're doing like this, standing up straight. I'm leaning back and I'm just using my hip flexors to bring my legs up. You've probably seen a lot of people do this at the gym. A lot of times people wonder, does it really make a difference? Well, since we were filming this, we thought we'd do an experiment. So, when I was walking at 15 miles an hour, 3.5 miles an hour, my heart rate was at 150. It actually went a little bit over. But now, I'm leaning back, it's readjusting. We're gonna see what my heart rate says now. We're gonna see if it goes up or down. So instead of using my glutes and my hamstrings and my quads, I'm using kind of like my back muscles and my arms to hold me, and I'm just using my hip flexors to lift my legs up. Again, you've probably seen a lot of people do this. A lot of people are guilty of it themselves. I want to kind of show you the difference. So after a couple minutes of doing this, let's look on the screen here. And let's see if it's going to take my pulse. It did it before, but it went away. Oh, look at that, guys. One, one, one. Way down. So it went to about 130. And then it went down to like 110. So here's the deal, guys. You can see the difference. If you're, don't cheat yourself. And if you're gonna walk at an incline, try to really walk at an incline, you can see it's not going up. And uh, If I wants, stand up straight, what were you gonna say? Nobody wants their heart rate to look like zero. Right. So weird. look at my heart rate right now. Just from doing that for a couple minutes, it went all the way down to 110. Now I did use some muscles in my back and stuff like that. That's not really what you're on the treadmill for. You're on the treadmill to exercise your heart. So don't cheat yourself. And your legs. Stand up straight, bend your arms, lean into the treadmill, bend those knees, and walk up that hill like this. You can see my heart rate's going up right away. I went up to 112. Oh, yeah, it's having trouble reading it now because my hands are so sweaty. But it's going to start going up right away. Look how far I went down just from leaning back like that. It's 105 only compared to 150. So people say it doesn't make a difference. It makes a huge difference. Don't cheat yourself and do that. A lot of times people think they're getting a certain amount of calories or their heart rate. Now my heart rate's starting to go back up again if you look. It's going back up, it's 109. So after a couple minutes of doing this, it'll probably go back up. Just wanna do a little experiment there. Don't cheat yourself, guys. Don't lean back and think that using your hip flexors like this is gonna be a workout. It's not gonna be nearly as good if you stand up straight and you push into that treadmill, you can still hold the handles for stability. You can still check your heart rate. You can be using a lot more muscle. It's going to incorporate a lot more cardiac output. So the tip, guys. And we'll see you next time.